Hey guys, it's Sarah. And today I thought I would share with you some of my favorite bookmarks that I like to use on a regular basis. I have a lot of bookmarks. <laughs> I'm a reader. I have a lot of bookmarks and I tend to gravitate towards the same ones over and over again. We all kind of have our favorites, right? So I'm going to show you some of my favorites, some of my go-tos. And then I also want to show you a really awesome bookmark that was sent to me from Copperist. So Copperist reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to receive and review this bookmark that they have created. And I loved it when I saw the picture. I was like, yes, please. So they very kindly sent me one of their bookmarks. And this is a metal bookmark, which a lot of people get scared about because you're afraid it's going to tear your pages. This is not going to do that. You'll see why here in a second. But this is handcrafted. They have multiple different options. This is, as of right now, the only bookmark available on their site, but they do have other items that are available. So you can go and check out and see what other kind of stuff is available on the site. But it came in this cute little box with their logo on it. And then the bookmark came in this little bag. And look, you guys, it's a crocodile. <laughs> you guys, okay. So it sits on the top of your book. I'll show you how it works in just a second, but it sits on the top of your book and it holds your page like this. Now, um, when you put it in, it literally looks like the crocodile is swimming across the top of your book. Let me show you. Okay, so I have a book here. And so I'm say I'm reading this book and I'm done reading for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide my bookmark on the top there. You guys, it looks like it's swimming across the top of your book. It is so cute. <laughs> like I, when I saw the picture, I was like, yes, please. And then hello, being from Florida, alligators are a whole thing. Alligators and crocodiles are a whole thing in Florida. So this is what it looks like when it's sitting in your book. Okay. <sighs> like I can't stop looking at it. It's so cute. Here's the concern for me personally is that this flops out very quickly because there's not a lot of grip in here. This is just flat metal so that nothing's gripping your pages. There's not a whole lot here to anchor it. So it is gonna kind of fly out. Does that mean I'm not gonna use it? Absolutely not. Now, this is something that I could use if I'm listening to an audiobook and I just wanna mark my progress as I'm going and I'm not really gonna be touching the book that much. It's just gonna be sitting there until I'm done. I'll definitely use this for that. It can also just be used if you want to have a book on display somewhere and you want that on top of it. That would be really cute, almost like a little piece of art inside your book that you're displaying as well. So that could be really cute. So that is my only concern about this. I would not be using this for on-the-go books or books that I'm carrying around a whole lot or I tend to fling my books around like when I'm talking and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to be using it for that because it will fall out. So there is that. But if you have something that you just want to keep your progress in or whatever or you want to use it as a display, this is perfect. I absolutely love it. I think it is so stinking cool. How cool is that? So... Huge thanks to Copperist for sending me one of these crocodile bookmarks. Now they have this, this one is the bronze. They also have one in silver. So you have a couple of options for the crocodile. And if you use my link down below, you can get 15% off of your purchase on anything on their site. It doesn't have to be the bookmark. It can be anything. And um, I will have my discount code down there for you that you put in when you check out. And you can get 15% off of this sweet, cool little guy here. So again, huge thank you to Copperas for sending me this. I'm excited to use it. Okay, so let's talk about my other bookmarks. So I have my bookmarks in coffee mugs. I have one upstairs, I have one downstairs. <laughs> that way, wherever I am reading a book and I need a bookmark, I just go grab one and I just kind of grab from here. Okay, this mug here is from the Lofty Ideas Bookshop, which is owned by Kelsey. She is awesome. I will have a link to her shop down below along with this mug, but it's super cute. It says book lover on it. And then this one is from Out of Print. It's a library card print mug that my mom got me for Christmas a couple years ago. They have these in all sorts of colors, so I'll leave a link to this one as well. So this is what I keep my bookmarks in. 
<laughs> and I'm just gonna shuffle through these and show you the ones that are kind of my go-tos. Okay, I can't talk about bookmarks without talking about Amanda from The Curly Reader. <laughs> one of my besties. She sells bookmarks on Etsy and they are handmade. She designs these herself. She creates them. She sells them. They're fantastic. They are the perfect size for a book, any book, it doesn't matter. And I might have a few. Just a few, you guys. I might have a few. I have so many, but they're perfect. So two that I am 100% about to start using on the regular because I she does do seasonal stuff so I do kind of shuffle through them and you know I'm going to put all of the fall and winter ones towards the back right now and I'll wait until those um, seasons come back. So for right now I'm going to be putting some of my more summery slash spring warm weather things. So this one has summer vibes, super cute. This one right here has a quote from Book Lovers by Emily Henry and it says is there anything better than iced coffee in a bookstore on a sunny day? That's what it says on the front. And then on the back, it says, I mean, aside from hot coffee in a bookstore on a rainy day. So love that. And then this one right here is a one that's inspired by People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. And it says, like a good book or an incredible outfit, being on vacation transports you into another version of yourself. And I love that one of her on the beach like that super, super cute. So there are a lot of bookmarks on Amanda's shop right now. So I encourage you to go and check her out. Again, I will leave her link down below. Um, but I'm not kidding. I use these all the time. A smaller one that I've been using is a really cool one that I got at the New York Public Library when we went to New York back in October. And um, of course, we had to go to the library and I was in the gift shop and I got this metal bookmark. And it is just a a scene of the front of the library there. So it's really cool. Like I said, it's metal. Does that help? <laughs> um, and it's got the, the tassel on here. So I've been using this too, definitely for smaller books because it's not very big. Um, so I don't want it to like fall out or anything, but yeah, I've been using this one too. This one is definitely a favorite of mine. This was sent to me from Jenna when she sent me a couple of books. She had this one tucked in and it says, my favorite people are fictional. I love it. And it's got the nice tassel with some beads on it and stuff. I use this one quite a lot as well. And then as always, if I'm in an independent bookstore, um, I will pick up, if they have like free bookmarks, <laughs> I will pick those up. And I have one here from Old Town Books, which is the nearest independent bookstore to me, which is in Alexandria. And I have picked up one of their books. So it says Alexandria City of Readers, which is one of their big slogans um, and as a mural outside of their store. So I picked this one up last time I was there and I use this quite a bit too. Okay, guys, those are some of my favorite bookmarks, bookmarks that have been my go-tos. I guess I definitely am finding that I prefer books that bookmarks that you stick in versus clipping or, you know, like the magnet stuff, which I know is very popular, but I guess I just prefer these <laughs> over those. I do have some of those, but I don't ever reach for them. So there's that. I kind of learned that about myself, but yep. I love bookmarks can never have enough. So let me know down below what some of your favorite bookmarks are. Do you have go-tos? Do you use bookmarks or do you dog ear your books like a monster, like my husband? We're working on it, guys. I'm going to get him to start using bookmarks. <laughs> and if you do, what are your go-tos? You have a large number of bookmarks. Do you have just a couple that you use? Do you have one that you use? Let me know all the details down below. And make sure you head over to Copperist and get yourself one of these really cool crocodiles. And we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.